Y'all, guess what? I got scammed on Depop three different times. Let's get into this story time. So if you're not familiar with Depop, think of eBay or like Macari, apps that people can resell stuff and buy stuff used. A lot of it is younger people my age who are reselling thrifted items or very vintage items at an upcharged price, usually very highly, highly priced. Um, and you can find some good things on there, but you can also find some scammers on there while you're at it. I have learned the lesson to try not to be so naive and trust people. I have a problem where I try to see the good in people and I trust people way more than I should. And in the end, I just end up getting hurt and taken advantage of. And that is what I learned from this experience. I never really had issues with my packages not arriving, getting stolen, getting lost until this NY Shein package. Grab your popcorn, your boba, your coffee, because I'm about to spill some tea, okay? Here are the facts. About eight weeks ago, I bought eight items off of the Depop app from eight different sellers. This was all bought at the same time. So on May 29th, 2020 is when all these items were purchased. So it wasn't that long ago, it's been two months. So this was the first time that I had ever bought anything off from Depop. The reason why I was buying stuff from Depop is because I really, I love thrifting. I love like stuff like that and I love getting a bargain and I really wanted to give it a try because I was going to do a video about like Depop purchases and stuff, but I decided just to do a, a cumulative thrift haul instead because of my experience with Depop. I was just like, nah, I don't really want to encourage people to buy from this app. Five of the eight items that I bought arrived fairly early. I was pretty surprised and shocked, um, especially because of the whole like COVID crisis and stuff and like packages like arriving late, not getting there on time. So I was pretty shocked that like, you know, these packages came so fast. But the last three items that I purchased out of the eight never arrived. So I have been scammed out of $77.50 from three different purchases on Depop. Um, so I'm going to break it down by seller. So Depop seller number one. So this girl didn't really alarm me at first because the communication was good and that's a big thing in purchasing from Depop. If someone is not communicating with you, that is a bad, bad sign, let me tell you. She let me know in the beginning that she was going to have to ship it after June 2nd, I believe, because she wasn't home. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm cool with that. I can wait. But after two weeks of purchasing it, I messaged her asking her for the tracking number so I could make sure that the package doesn't get lost, stolen, you know, and I can be updated with the post office to make sure it gets to me. And she says to me, hey, I already sent it, meaning the package. It should have been a week after the 5th of June and here's the tracking number. At this time when she sent me the tracking number because I asked, and normally Depop sellers should send you the tracking number on their own like you shouldn't have to ask like me as a seller should not have to ask to track the package that i bought from you so when i clicked on the tracking number at this time it said that shipping label had been created so then the seller also said to me it might be taking longer due to covid 19 because i've been waiting for a package from depop for like two weeks now and i was like yeah i can see that i can definitely see that on june 27th a few weeks later, I decided to message her again, telling her that I still haven't received the package. You know, I've been looking at this tracking number for weeks and there have been nothing on it. And I know some people have, like just in general for the shipping, people have like said, oh, like it says that the shipping label is created, but nothing else has been happening. And so I didn't really think of it much because of that, but I was still kind of suspect of it, suspicious of it because for the longest time, it just said shipping label created and there was no sort of movement, nothing. Um, it arrived at this post office, this or a product date, there was nothing. And then she responded with, hey, on I honestly don't know what to tell you because I'm not responsible for it after shipping. I wish I could do more, but I did what I could. And then so then I asked her, I was like, did your um, Depop package ever come? Because she was still waiting on a Depop package she purchased and I never heard from her since. She never answered my question. 
yeah so that was not good when you don't respond that it looks really bad on you as a seller so a few weeks after when she cut pretty much all communication off with me um, I looked up the tracking number again and this was a few weeks ago and it said package not trackable and that's when I was like what is happening here I, I have never seen a tracking number say that so I was like mmm what does that mean hmm so then today I looked up the tracking number and it says the shipping label was created but it was not yet in the USPS system so this means that this girl never sent my package out to me which is why it never arrived so I did contact Depop about getting a refund because the item never arrived so they are refunding me in the process of doing that it doesn't feel good that this girl scammed and lied to me and acted like she sent it when she never did thank you i really hope you don't scam anyone else because that's such a horrendous thing to do to somebody lie and scam and cheat your way especially when people like me put trust in you with our money you're never going to get my money ever again None of these people are. I don't even think I'm ever going to use Depop again. I might if I have money that I can waste. Depop seller number two. I bought a pink 2000s looking tube top from her. I first messaged her on June 11th and the 15th to inquiry about my package, when it will arrive, and I also asked her for the tracking number because this girl also never messaged me and she never sent me a tracking number. She literally did not message me at all. Even when I reached out to her first, heard nothing from her. All three sellers had a few reviews and they were pretty good. And that's why I bought from them because I felt like I could trust them because all these other people thought great things of their purchases. After I haven't heard a word from her and after I never got my package, I messaged her saying, it's been two weeks since I've purchased the item. So I'd like to know when it will arrive. I've already had issues with packages not arriving so i'd like to know when it would come on june 27th i said i still haven't received my package hey can you please respond to me the post office cannot help me track the package if i don't have a tracking number which is true because i've gone to the post office several times asking for help to know where the heck my packages went and i know at the end of the day all of this stuff is materialistic stuff and it doesn't really matter but when you spend money on stuff, you don't want to just waste it. You don't want to just lose it like that. And so, like, yeah, I was, they, they literally told me, I, we can't help you unless you have a tracking number. And I didn't have a tracking number. None of these people gave me a tracking number except the first girl. But the thing is that's interesting is despite her lack of communication, I noticed that she did create a shipping label. And I know she saw me purchase an item because she created a shipping label. So I looked at her profile on Depop and saw that she had posted 13 weeks ago saying, I'm still selling, I'm selling on Depop, but I don't plan on using it thoroughly. Orders will be shipped on Thursday and Friday of every week. I will personally contact you if it has changed. I get PayPal and email notifications if orders are placed and I will list more in the future. Other than that, I don't actively use Depop to communicate or buy. I'm sorry. Why do you sell on Depop if you're not going to communicate with people on the app? You obviously created a shipping label. You saw that I bought something. You never contacted me about when this would get shipped out or anything. I've been contacting you through Depop. How else am I supposed to contact you? You don't have like an Instagram or any type of social media. Otherwise, I'd have contacted you. That's ridiculous. Don't sell stuff on any platform if you're not going to be open to communicating with people who buy your stuff. I filed a little, a little case against this user and I'm still currently waiting on PayPal and Depop to get back to me to see if they can give me and grant me a refund. So pray for me. Depop seller number three is honestly the worst out of all three and you will see why. So I purchased an older looking pink, it was a pink colored Victoria's Secret pink tracksuit hoodie i had been wanting one that like imitates like the juicy couture tracksuit jackets and i found this for a very cheap price after pur purchasing this i noticed she never created a shipping label so i looked at her profile on depop and to my surprise i saw that in her bio she said she is currently not selling 
And this did give me a little heart attack because I was like, well, I should have been smart and looked at the profile. But at the same time, if I buy something that's listed, it's not my fault if you're not currently selling. If you're not currently selling an item, you should honestly take it down or make a note in the post. Don't just leave it up there expecting people to look on your profile and think that you're not selling. I messaged her on June 4th saying, Hi, I bought something from your store and saw in your bio after that you aren't currently selling. Could you help me out? I would really like the pink sweatshirt, but if you aren't selling, I would like a refund. Then she said, The reason why I'm not selling is because there's an issue with my PayPal, but if you could send the money through Cash App, then I could do it. If you're not familiar, Depop uses PayPal for the sellers to create shipping labels and get their money and yada yada yada. So at the time of her saying that, I never thought anything of it, um, especially since this was my first time buying stuff from Depop. I wasn't expecting this to be turned out into a scam. Depop warns people that you are only covered and protected when you purchase things through the app, in the app. You are not protected for a refund or whatever if items are purchased outside of the app. So I knew I was taking a risk, but this girl also had good reviews, so I didn't expect this to happen to me. Honestly, I'm very ashamed and disappointed that I was really dumb to fall for this, to, to, to buy it outside the app also. So then I said, okay, is there a way I can get refunded on here so I can send payment to your cash app? So I just sent the money right away. Don't ever do that. If you're buying from Depop, don't ever ever pay twice or pay someone outside of the app do not fall for that trick it is a scam so she said she would do the refund and she mentioned that cash app takes a few days to confirm the money and she said she would ship the package out when it happens and then a few days later after sending the money cash app i did see that she accepted the payment a shipping label was never created and you can tell on depop because if they don't create a shipping label it'll say awaiting shipment and that's what it still says this very day, eight weeks later after purchased. She said she would send the tracking number, but she never sent the tracking number. On June 5th, 6th, and 7th, I pressured her about my refund because I paid her twice for the same item, but she said just check PayPal, but nothing was on PayPal. So I essentially paid her twice. On June 11th and June 15th, I messaged her several times asking for the tracking number and letting her know that it's been over two weeks since purchasing the product. I also messaged her on June 27th, but she never responded. The last time I heard from her was June 6th. At this point, I was totally helpless because she was not communicating with me, not responding to me, never gave me a refund. I paid twice, got scammed, never received an item. And the post office could not help me either because she never gave me a tracking number. Even after I asked her for a tracking number, never responded. A few days ago, I checked a few days ago I checked on her Depop profile to see that her store is now open. When I had purchased an item in her bio, she said closed. So she has been active on Depop and has been ignoring my messages and boy, what I'm about to tell you, I never thought I would see for my life. I also clicked on the item I bought from her that never arrived at my house and saw that 6 days ago. 6 days ago. This girl relisted the item I bought from her eight weeks ago. Remember, I purchased this item eight weeks ago. Never arrived. But six days ago, she, re she relisted this item on her Depop for sale. And you know when someone relists an item because if something's bought, it says sold. It doesn't say buy. And guess what? She's upcharging this now. I bought this for $10 and now she's selling it for $20. So that's how I know that she's reselling it too. She relisted it. Because why would you relist the same item for even more money? Double the price. So I also commented on her post. No response. The nerve this girl had to scam me twice. Never respond to my messages. And then flat out relist an item I bought two months ago baffles me so for this one i also filed a case with depop and paypal and they are i'm waiting to see if they're going to give me a refund i did try to wait patiently i try to give things about three weeks to a month and i think at the month mark i kind of got very suspicious and worried about my packages because at that point i was like they still haven't shown up 
and why did all the other packages arrive so early but these last few ones didn't and that's when i started to message people but i went to the post office and i asked them i was like i'm having this issue with these packages like it, are things a little bit more worse than they were in the beginning because of covid like i know it was bad earlier but are is, is things even worse so that I, I expect really bad package delays and the lady was like no so when the post office lady told me that things weren't any worse than they normally have been during covid i was like yeah these packages should have already arrived i've been scammed and i just didn't want to admit that to myself and i just didn't want to think that these people were that bad of people that they would scam me like that I wanted to really think of them, of this could have been a mistake on the postal system where something happened, they got stolen. I really didn't want to believe that people would scam me like that. Honestly, don't even buy from Depop. People upcharge things, they drop ship, and they sell things you can get on like Pretty Little Thing, Brandy Melville for like such a cheaper price. Honestly, it's better just to thrift on your own or just buy new and not even go through the whole hoopy law of like getting scammed. So that is my story. Bye guys. <laughs>